Here is an early 1960s to mid 1960s maybe Zenith console radio phonograph. And this has been buried under a bunch of junk in, in here for several years. Just got stuff stacked and stacked higher and higher on top of it. But it really is in good working condition. And I haven't replaced any of the capacitors in it yet. It's got all the original capacitors in it. And it does have a fuse on it for protection though. So I thought, well, I'll put it kind of lower on the priority of capacitor replacement because it seems like everything's working okay. And it's probably new enough that it doesn't have paper caps in it. But eventually I will go through and uh, replace those old capacitors. It's got a separate tuner module and a separate amp. Let's take a look at the controls here. And it's not just a dummy uh, look like you might see on some things. Even like on some sound design units, they try and make it look like it was individual components, but it's just all one. These are actually completely separate components. And I think they even have separate power transformers and rectifiers. Let me take a look down in here. You can sort of see the, the tubes. You can see tubes lit up in there. And there's the independent power transformer for the tuner. And the amp is kind of weird. It's actually positioned behind the tuner, or I guess toward the front of the cabinet. So you kind of have to probably would have to take the tuner out or just reach your hand way back in behind there to check the tubes and the amp. Sometime I'll, I'll get the back off of this. And it's got a VM changer, ceramic cartridge. First check uh, radio operation. Now I think these controls may be a little dirty. We'll try FM AFC first of all. When some of the great crises we got up for grabs right now, so make sure you keep it locked on to Kiss FM. Oh, yeah. I'm missing all the dreams and how it's everything, don't matter if I stop. seems to work really good. Hands only CPR is recommended by the American Heart Association. Seems to be able to get weak stations really well. That station's probably about 90 miles away in La Mesa. Maybe not quite 90, but it seems like it's at least an hour's drive away. <laughs> Was Mother Teresa. She gave as everyone who remembers. This is a really good AM tuner. There's 1400 and Big Spring, which is oldies. 
Here's 1410 in Odessa, which is country. This is probably one of the best performing AM tuners in a, a console radio I've ever seen. Really discriminates against noise and picks up weak stations. Now I'll try the phono. And this needs to be cleaned up some. It kind of drags once the tone arm gets to the uh, center of the record because it's trying to trigger the automatic uh, mechanism. Thank you. 